Okay. Hola. Oh, awesome. I got all my makeup on this morning and realized I forgot to put my contact in. I go, well, guess it's going to be glassy tape. Good morning. Good morning. It's We're Tuesday. here again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just Tuesday morning. It's just Tuesday morning. Wow. Yes, All right. they come so, so fast. They do. All right. So hopefully mm -hmm. we have our technical glitches fixed and that you guys can hear us. So Gosh, we if you so. can't hear us, um, good morning, Shirley. Good morning. Can you hear us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, my comedy, comedy relief. And... <laughs> so might... glad we can be of service. That's right. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Great. Okay. Anne says she can hear us. So I'm I'm hoping that we're Excellent. good to go. So um, this morning we are going to be doing the maker tote. Yes. So uh... yeah, we're going to try to complete it from start to finish yes. in the two hours. Uh, so to be like a marathon. Goals. They're good, right? Sewing today. Yeah. So. Um, we're doing the tote bag. Um, I think we should just jump right we're in. We're going to jump right in. Um, we'll have time to chit chat in between yep. a little bit. So the first thing that we're going to do is trim the uh, handle pieces off. Yeah. Um, do you want to trim or do you nope, want me to you're trim? Gonna do, you're All right. Gonna, so then you're, you're going to do. Be, so I'm going to camera. So we're going to tangle wires right off the get. Right. So this will be our challenge is to not choke each other, step, step on, on each, each other's, other's cords <laughs> or any of that. All that right. stuff. So which, how do you want to go? I'm going to go this You're going to go that way? Yeah. All right. We're going to dance today, guys. It's going to be great. Which mouse am I looking at? So uh, they I both got this one. work. Um, so you I need to do this, this one. And I need to go with this one. There we go. As soon as you're ready. I'm ready. All right. So All right. we have our cutting tools over there. So there's our adorable, what is that, mint colored? Yeah, mint, teal. aqua, teal. Pick a color. Pick a any color, color. Pick any a color, color. Any color. All right. So you have your towel. All right. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to trim off this little piece here. We don't need the little hook. And the second thing that we want to do is we want to ignore the fact that this towel is not square. <laughs> it's not. I promise you it's not. But all we need to do is we need to line up these ends here, all right? It do not matter if it goes like past it, before it, if it's not even up at the top, just get the long edges straight. And then I'm gonna wanna cut through both of these at the same time. You could certainly do this one side at a time if you wish, but I am actually gonna fold it over. And the reason I do this is because I find it's a little easier to make sure that I have all of my edges lined up. Lined up. Yeah. Especially if the towel's not really right. and it's helping not. you all out there. It's not gonna help big time here. All right. So now, this is one of those times where I am gonna cheat and I'm gonna use a line on the mat. And the reason that I'm gonna do that is because when I put this on my mat here, it's gonna rock a little bit and that's gonna make it a little bit harder for you to actually cut a straight line. And we need to cut two inches. These are gonna be the handles. So if it's not absolutely perfect, there is a little grace in here. So here I have my ruler lined up on my two inches and I've got two inches and I'm hoping this is sharp enough to cut through. Woohoo! All right, so we have our handles um, started. We're gonna set those aside. 
and we're gonna do some sewing on them in just a little bit. Now we are gonna take the leftover piece of our towel and now we're going to sort of square it up. We're going to put the top edges together. <laughs> and again, it's not square. There's a surprise. So I'm just gonna kind of tug on it a little bit. <clears throat> All right, and now we need to make this 12 inches. 12 or 12 and a half. Where's, do you have a set over here? I do. So we need to make this 12 and a half inches. So I am going to line the bottom of my bag up down here on a straight line. Look at that beautifully square towel. <laughs> right? It's so square. And I am going to, wow, this is really off. All right. <laughs> And then I'm gonna square up one side. And I can kind of see this side over here. So I am going to use my ruler base at the bottom to make sure that this is nice and square. And I'm gonna trim off this excess fabric over here. Okay, and now we need to go 12 and a half inches. So you can measure this any which way you would like, but essentially I'm gonna be over here and um, I'm about an inch and a half in from the inside. So this is one of those great times if you have a second ruler if you've placed this square on the bottom at the 12 and a half inch mark, and then you bring your other ruler up over to the side here and place that right where you need it. And then you're just gonna slide that up. This is gonna keep everything nice and square and straight and allow you to use your right hand for all of my righties <laughs> to finish cutting. Now I can trim with my left hand, so I would have just chopped that off with my left hand, but I realized that that's not the norm. Okay, so I've got my excess. This is great to save for later because you might wanna check your stitching with your needle to make sure that you're good. And it's nice to have a little excess fabric there. Last piece. Yes. So now we are going to place this so that we have the wrong side of the tea towel up. We know the wrong side is up because we can see the fold and we are going to trim. Um, I'm sorry, not trim. Mark. Don't start trimming your towel again. Otherwise, it's going to be a really small bag. It's already small. It's already small. Don't make it smaller. Yep. I think I left them. Did I leave the marking pen over there? Yeah. Pink guy, right? Yep. Yeah. There's something over here. So the directions tell us to mark one inch in from the fold. And then the next measurement from the right, we're gonna measure 12 inches down. The whole thing's 12, isn't it? Yeah but it's pretty short. My bad, wrong one. I was thinking that for like two and a half inches. I know, <laughs> I, well, and I was, you saw I was gonna do it, so. Don't do it. 12 inches, 12, one. <laughs> Always good to double check, especially when you got numbers going in both directions. Okay, 
So we have our one inch line and our 12 inch line. They want you to mark these A and B. So A, B, it kind of looks like a 13. <laughs> and then we are going to um, hoop our sticky stabilizer, which we have already done. And yep. we're gonna load our crosshair which we also have done. We have already done. And now we're gonna fold the tea towel in half lengthwise with the right sides together. So I've got the wrong side down to the base. And I am folding my towel in half so that I have the wrong side out and I can actually see my lines. And then I am going to Line my raw edges, give my towel a little bit of a finger press here. And we are going to then fold on to the B line. So I'm going to fold this over. And again, the wrong side of my towel is up. I can see my stitching line. And then this is gonna become our placement part for our embroidery design. So we're gonna switch over to the machine. Ta-da! <laughs> I'll squat. <laughs> Dun -da -da -da. <laughs> this like jump rope over here. <laughs> They can, oh. Well, I guess they can kind of see that. <laughs> All right, here's your towel. Totally being the comedy hour this morning. <laughs> right. right. Um, I don't have it threaded, though. Do oh, you remember okay. what we're doing first? Um, I believe the first thing that we do is it's going the to be the scissors. Scissors, yes. Let's thread that puppy up. So, whoop. That's going to stay there. Tony's trying to be so quiet over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the first thing, um, I'm like, why isn't it green? <laughs> All right. First thing we're going to do is that beautiful crosshair. Stick, stick, stick. Stick, stick, stick. <laughs> stick 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 all right and then the corner of this little guy here is going to go in the upper left quadrant of our crosshair so i'm gonna pull that towards me just a little bit so that i can see Gonna give that a nice little press there. Pull that open across the other side. That does look like a 13. <laughs> a little north. And then we're gonna pull that down. And I'm just walking that um marking line down that crosshair to make sure that i'm not getting crooked as i go and then i'm going to give that a nice press so that i have a smooth surface for my embroidery slide that hoop back in the machine and we do have a slightly larger hoop in here because well that's what we had we have to crawl under the table to get anything else yeah you, it literally would be <laughs> comedy hour if you saw how we had to get in and out of our corner we've we blocked, blocked ourselves, ourselves in, in. we're we've, staying here the entire this day. is our fort that we are playing in today yes. so um good luck to everyone else that's working here because we're stuck in the corner that's right so so you have um, to crawl under the table to greet us <laughs> i'm literally stuck in the corner so this is what hoop we had available to us so uh all right uh, first thing that we're going to do is those um, 
don't run with scissors, scissors. Um, and um, we are going to do that placement line. There's a fuzzy. All right. Um, how do you get the fuzzies off? I was moving, just yeah, moving just those moving the fabric. Because I thought they were going to yeah. slide underneath. Oh, look, there's some more of my hair. It could be mine. Um, I'm most likely it's mine. I, it's everywhere. <laughs> it's just everywhere. All right. So placement line. I do have a nice silvery gray. I um, can't figure out why they put it that in the placement line i me either i thought exactly the same thing like i'm not really sure <laughs> not what why the, what the that's necessary. purpose of that is for the placement line but that's okay it was well, probably just easier a copy and paste mm -hmm. whatever <laughs> i wish we could buy a bella box that had time in it <laughs> That was like an alternate reality, right? It just shifted us just to a place shift to, where we had to where we can play so and much time. actually <laughs> play in the fort, right? right? All right. So we've got our um, pretty silver leather. And you guys know I'm not going to tape it down, but you can, of course. I'll get my hand out of the way so you can see it, though. So uh, this is going to show... There is no secondary um, stitch that's going to go over top of this. So make sure whatever you thread that with is going to be what you want. <laughs> it's fine. There's no going back. No. No going back. And you don't want to have to try to rip those stitches out. Oh, no. As in don't. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't do that. I watched this really silly movie this weekend called Parallel. It was on, I think it was on Netflix or who, I forget. Anyways, it was about these people, these roommates who find this mirror that sends them to like an alternate dimension and time moves differently over there. So like, you know, a week passes on the alternate side and like 15 minutes passes on the other side. So they were going over there and like doing all of their work then coming back to the other side and, and playing. So I thought, man, that would be convenient if I could just <laughs> step in my bella box. <laughs> oh, that would be nice. <laughs> no I, one would miss me. I, we could have like an entire retreat over there. <laughs> be gone for like 15 minutes. <laughs> I could sleep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Forget the getting anything done. I could sleep. <laughs> All right, so um, I am going to go trim that. Okay. And again, um, we say this often, mm -hmm. um, try to make your first trim your last trim um, so it's nice and smooth. Yes. Um, I'll let you trim on camera. Okay. Um, so the next stitch is going to be the um, stand for the um, dress form which is going to be, I'll just bump the table. How's that sound? <laughs> Good morning, table, nice to see you. So I'm gonna plop in, uh, it's, what Lisa is saying is that it's tiny stitches and sometimes these little tiny running stitches pull up your bobbin thread a little bit. So you can always take the chance and uh, go ahead and keep your white bobbin in, but I did go ahead and swap that bobbin out for black thread just because, um, why take the chance? We know it can sometimes be a problem, so. Yep, that's where I was going. Yes, I, so, I, uh, um, I speak Lisa early in the morning. Absolutely. <laughs> if you um, ever have those tiny running stitches, a lot of times they're in words. Mm -hmm. um, but this time they happen to be in the, the form, form of, of the stand for yeah. this. But um, it's just a little bit of a safety net to make that a nice bold piece instead of maybe having it look a little washed out. I think I just dropped something. Hopefully it wasn't important. We'll soon know. <laughs> I don't know what it would have been, but... Marking pen. We'll need that. <laughs> All 
so yeah that movie was pretty funny and I just kept thinking that would be so convenient because I you know just like everybody else that's watching this you know there just doesn't seem to be there enough is hours not enough in hours the day. in the day no never ever is enough hours in the day Uh, no, I'm going as fast as I can. That's all right. You know, I've, the the real reality is is um, it takes time to do that, and the hurrier you go, the worse, the worse it, it looks. looks. So there is all no right. Point so I just kind of stabbed in there and snipped with my scissors, mm -hmm. and now I'm gonna attempt to go in a circle. <laughs> so we haven't um, we haven't come to a, a final decision on what we're gonna do for our afternoon. Um, uh, what's new with Labu today? So um, I know there's a bunch of you guys watching. Does is anybody want to see something special? Now is a great time to comment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ideas welcome. Ideas welcome. Yeah, sewing, embroidery, um, maybe uh, questions or or answers or. I always think it'd be fun to do a question and answer, but I'm afraid people won't show up and ask and questions. actually question. <laughs> oh. Tanya says she has a foot she needs to know how to use. Well, there's a likelihood that I already did a video on it. <laughs> <laughs> what foot is it? Inside those pieces are um, the little scissor handles are a bear. They are, and honestly, I would have planned better and gotten smaller scissors. These are a little large to. Um... Oh, Tanya has a question about the multifunction foot controller. Oh, we could talk about that. We could. I love that foot. That's she my favorite does. foot. Different well, kind of foot. Yeah. How are we doing? You're good. You're there. You go. You were stuck on your. You were stuck on the little toggle at the bottom of your ah, this hoop is tight and very tight okay always make sure you're not underneath yeah no doubt otherwise it's gonna be a different size bag <laughs> or a very decorative piece of fabric to hang on the wall true that Oh, Shirley said she would like information on that foot too. So maybe this afternoon we can do multifunction foot controller. Yeah. We'll do that this afternoon. Great Sounds idea. Great. And we don't have to reset up everything. <laughs> if only we had one in the store. <laughs> we must have one somewhere. I don't know. All right. Okay. So next we are going to do that adorable little dress form. Mm -hmm. So... I took that fabric home with me so I could find some thread that was already open mm -hmm. instead of opening a whole spool of thread for that little guy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to pop that. Because you're doing yours orange. I did I, mine pink. I know you did. Right? It's I a big surprise. I saw yours. It's a stretch. I wasn't doing pink. I played around with maybe doing blue, mm -hmm. but I didn't like the pop. So I changed from the um solid orange mm -hmm. to um the or lighter orange print mm -hmm. and i like this one so we're gonna we're gonna go with that it's just a little dress form <laughs> it's not very big but then again neither is the bag so <laughs> it couldn't be too big <laughs> all right so we've got that placement line and i'm just gonna Toss this little bit of fabric right over there. I know, shocker. I've taped that down with my fingers. <laughs> Can barely even see that thread. That's a good match. Good match. Now we must trim again. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to need to do that too. All right. Ugh. That is super tight. <laughs> it just doesn't want to go. 
Judy wants to know how to use the SVG files for the cutting these appliques. Okay. Well, we have done, um, Lisa has done fabric cutting a couple of times. Um, there's really nothing special. You just cut the fabric. Um, I always would recommend that you do a test. So sometimes these are Kimberbell files, so they should be pretty good. But sometimes you have to increase the size of your cut piece just a scotch. Um, I would increase Kimberbell's. She's usually like right on. I would bump it two millimeters. So Lisa recommends two millimeters. Um, again, there's going to be a little bit of trial and error. That's a great place to start um, and go from there. If you don't like the way it looks, then you can increase or decrease based on that. Um, but she's definitely done a lot of these. So um, and then there really isn't anything special. Um, you you get your placement line and you put your fabric in the placement line and then you trim. Uh, there's nothing, instead of trimming around it, then you would just do your decorative stitching. Um, you definitely are going to want to use some sort of, I'm sorry, I'm just looking for the embroidery bobbin thread. Here we go. Um, some sort of adhesive underneath there. So um, whether or not it's the Baby Lock fusible applique or your other favorite fusible, because um, you won't want to tape through that. You'll want to fuse on top of that line. But that's really the only thing that's different is that instead of cutting, you're basically fusing. Yep. And you follow all of the rest of the directions. There will not be SVG files for everything because um, there are some parts that they don't recommend that you cut. Yeah. Um, they fabric usually especially. don't. Um, she does, Kimberbell in, does a lot of raw edge applique. Yes. And she will not provide a file if it's a raw edge. Right. Um, so there, the, there will never be anything provided for those um, because it's not recommended that you do that because they need to be slightly oversized. Um, you certainly could use them um, if you have a brother or baby lock machine. You can create a cut file um, in your machine. Yeah. If you want that and you could bump them, you know, four millimeters or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, you could certainly play with that if, if you still want um, to make that work. But, um, you know, the time that it takes to use those is sometimes more time intensive than it is to actually do mm -hmm. the um the actual just the cutting. actual cutting yeah of of whatever it happens to be so um but a great resource like if you really struggle with using scissors because of your hands or things like that it's a great resource yep um to do that or if you're making a ton of these like if you were right. going to make a whole bunch of these bulk or a really complicated cut right then it's, it's certainly time yes smart to smart, do so for sure these bags are cute but oh my gosh they're so small so um, I don't know about you, but um, I don't even think I could fit my lunch in it. <laughs> um, Karen was saying yesterday she thought that it would be a really cool like knitting bag for, sure. you know, um, socks or mm -hmm. something. You know, it's it's a, it's, it's a nice small project bag. Yeah. Um, so I just changed the thread to a kind of darker at the bottom color, you know, the base mm -hmm. a little bit darker than that uh, color green. Keeping it color consistent. Yeah. But yeah, so I, I certainly um, find it very easy to cut the appliques. And if you don't want to do the pressing and of adding all of that, they certainly work much better now than they ever used to with the fabric mat. Yeah. Um, but your edges are going to fray um, if you haven't starched or added something, you're going to get, um, you know, the handling, the man handling of the fabric. By the yeah. time you get it tacked down, you'll you'll run into. Um, yeah, definitely a fusible underneath there because there's no way that's not going to shift when it's doing when it starts doing that decorative stitch because nope. the tack down is really not. You gonna, need that fusible, yeah. even even the temporary fusible on there to keep it in position when you're tacking it down. Absolutely. So. Um, you know, by the time you take that 30 seconds, mm -hmm. you know, I had have been done and cutting and moved on to the next. Oh, all right. So it's time to change the needle. 
Um, we we can't make it through a day without something. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, so our thread got caught underneath yes, our it did. Um, spool. Because it's one of these doodads that it's one of those doodads here. I yep. have needles though. You have needles. Yes. And a screwdriver right here. I don't use screwdrivers right now. Okay. Because I bend my needle bar when I do that. <laughs> um, da -dum 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 -dum. <sighs> so how's everybody doing? <laughs> yeah. You know what I think this bag would be super cute for? Um, if it were me and I were going to like make this bag, instead of putting the handles on it, I think that I would put a zipper on the top and make this like a zippered project bag. That'd be cute. Um, I think that it's a perfect size for like sliding your threads and um, your fabric pieces or stuff like that that you want to tote back and forth or keeping your um, projects together um like if you're doing a um I didn't like something like the red white and bloom or something like that a way to keep kind of your pieces together yeah it would certainly hold quite a few threads and yeah scissors and that kind of stuff but it's it is fairly tiny to hold a whole lot of other yeah like that one Let's, but I, um, I think it would be cool to put a, a a zip across the top and you could use that you could follow everything out all of the instructions could be the same I'm just going to except check for underneath when you sure. do the handle wherever the heck the rest of that needle is you would just put look this guys <laughs> just double checking Oh, it's dirty. Oh, there. it is dirty in there. It's too bad I don't have a brush over here to clean. Mm, my fingernail works. <laughs> hmm. I don't see a needle, though, so I think we're okay. Lots of bugs, though. Yeah, we've been busy. Hmm. Obviously, I take care, better care of my machine at home than I do the machines here. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I don't clean this one every time I sit down in front. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> we'll clean it later. There we go. Before today's episode. Yeah, yeah we will. I don't see any needles. That was the main purpose of that little foray. He's thread back there, though. Good morning from Florida. <laughs> I'm counting down the days. <laughs> Well, fairly high number. <laughs> How many is it? I don't know. Oh. I'm not really counting down that much, that, oh. like oh. specifically. Okay. Less than eight weeks. <laughs> Less than eight. We're counting down the weeks. We're we'll get to the days the later. Yeah. Should we back up a few stitches? I was going to say, you want to back. There it is. Found oh, it. There we go. Glad I flipped it over because that would have got caught somewhere. <laughs> Keep that up a little bit, didn't it? There we go. All right, how many Back to go? 20. That'll work. Back to our regularly scheduled show. Yes. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that commercial break for how to clean your machine. <laughs> so, uh, oh, that didn't go enough. No, do you want to go back again? Yeah. We didn't go back far enough. There's a hole. We're going to back up some more. A little bit. See, there you go. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Is the hole filled so yeah no i didn't really do much this weekend no mm -mm. i made one of these and i was here almost all day saturday so i got home and i warmed up leftovers and snacks and then watched what did i watch the walking dead i watched the walking dead ah. this weekend Yes. 
I'm on season nine. Almost done. Just in time for season 10 to come out. I, it took me a long time to get into that program. Like, I tried. I stopped for a long time. I got to the point where I was like, I can't watch this anymore. Yeah. And then. It was hard to start. Like, I thought the first couple of episodes were, like, a little just weird. I mean, the whole program <laughs> yeah, is weird, but I just yeah. couldn't get past it. And then I and then I finally did. Like, on my third try, I got past, like, the second episode, and then I enjoyed it from there. I don't remember. What, what season are you in? Don't remember. The prison one. Oh, you're early. Yeah. Um, it was past the prison one that I I had to take a break, but I don't yeah. remember what it was. Um, and then I went back and I was like, nope, I just can't do it. And I put it on hold. And then Samantha started watching it. And mm. she's like, what season are you on? I'm like, huh, I'm on season eight. I guess I could finish it. I'm <laughs> yeah. like almost, almost there. there. Yeah. So I started watching it again. And Oh, you know what? Our thread is shredding a little bit. So let's... Mm -hmm. I was gonna get that, but that's that's what I saw. Yeah. But I see what you you're see saying. Hope we can get it. Are we stuck again? No. Okay. Season three. Yeah, you're you're way early. That's early. Now. Yeah. I'm also I also loved watching oops. Sorry, the that was me. Supernatural show. So Negan is uh yeah. is Sam and his dad and uh, Dean's dad, so um yeah. Yeah, he hasn't met Negan yet. No. Yeah. Little pig, little pig. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> yeah, it was around Negan that I had to take a break. Yeah, that was a that, those were some rough those episodes. Are rough. Yeah. yeah. I think that's when a lot of people stopped watching. I I think they I mean it's a gory show, but I think that was some unnecessary <laughs> Online violence. Scary <laughs> violence that it just was like, you didn't I didn't necessarily have to show us that. It, we could have done without it. Yeah. Without I, the story. I, uh, th that's where I was like, I, mm -hmm. I'm not enjoying this. So yeah. we're going to just take a break. Yep. <laughs> so I, I, I walked away for a little while, but I figured sooner or later he's got to get what's coming to him. So that's, yep, it did. Yeah. But um, <laughs> she says, I can't help it, but Negan is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. It's funny because over the last couple of weeks, I have watched. So did you ever watch Whiskey Cavalier? No. So it's got, um, oh, God, her name's not Andrea. Um, the gal whose uh, husband was killed by Negan. Um, Maggie's M Maggie her she's in it uh -huh. um, and uh, so I it came on after something that I was watching and so I kind of started watching I think there's only one or two of uh, seasons of it, it but it, it she's a spy <laughs> but um, there's she's kicking butt in a lot of things and then I watched something not too long ago and Negan was in it and he was like a reporter in something but it was like a scary movie okay and um, it was it's so hard to like, when they change characters like they, that yeah right it's like all i can see is them like whatever it is that they're saying they're still into the other program i just it's it's really hard i can i can understand how like people have trouble casting mm -hmm. people after they've done something because they're so long. casted into something specific and... that's right like i will never be able to see the harry potter kid as anything but the Har but harry potter yeah no matter how many times he's in something it just seems i don't know he made weird. a pretty good jackknife yeah well <laughs> <laughs> actually he didn't that was a terrible movie but <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's um and there are some things that like an actor that you didn't like in something mm -hmm. that it doesn't matter how good they are in a movie. You didn't like them in something else, you just won't like the movie because or you can't watch the movie because you don't like the actor. Yeah. I watched a really horrible George Clooney movie. I cannot remember the name of it, but it was something about him in space. It was mm. awful. We went to the movie theater uh -huh. to see it, and we left before it was done. That's the first time I've ever not. Dave actually fell asleep while we were watching it, and he, like, snorted himself open. 
<laughs> awake. So I was like, yeah, we got to go. <laughs> but that yeah, sometimes I it was a long time before I could watch a George anything with him in it because yeah. I just kept seeing it. I want to I want to think that the name of the movie is like Solaris or something. It was. Be and, yes, it was. <laughs> but it, it, it was, wasn't a very good movie. Yeah, I agree with you. Right. All right. Well, you know, this is kind of the boring part of the... Yeah, sorry. We're trying to make it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Not a whole lot to uh, see here, guys. Just a bunch of stitching. Yeah. That can be kind of hypnotic, but, uh, right? you know, it, it is what it is. So... Uh, Gravity. There you go. Oh, okay. I was close. <laughs> Wasn't he in something called Solaris, though? Maybe. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was, but. Uh, this is when you need some good jokes. Yeah. Huh. Where's Caitlin? Right? What does one hot dog say to the other hot dog? I don't know. I'm a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Caitlin joke. There you go. Uh. You guys are all set for the day now. <laughs> Caitlin's over there cracking up. <laughs> Oh. Sorry, Caitlin, I stole your joke. <laughs> oh. It's a classic. Oh. We went on a road trip and she said that one over the walkie-talkie to the other car. <laughs> what does one hot dog say to the other hot dog? And we're all just like, what? Yeah. I'm a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Never dull when oh. Caitlin's around. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I always buy that Laffy Taffy and try to get a good joke. They're never good. Right. Unfortunately. And I try to forget them because they're so terrible. So, unfortunately, I can't even reel any of those off. <laughs> Got any good ones, Hayden? No. Yeah. Nothing good enough to repeat, though. Right. <laughs> or nothing safe PG. enough to repeat. Nothing safe enough to repeat. Yeah. <laughs> PG. No, but uh, yeah, so um, I um, I did some sewing. I did uh, design center. So I had these. I'm a big Lori Holt fan mm -hmm. um, and she's got these cute little books and uh, it's a telephone. I think I've showed the telephone before. Mm -hmm. So it's an old fashioned phone on top and then it says hello at the bottom. Yep. So I thought it would be cute to hang in the camper. So um, it's it's uh, maybe a 24 inch block. So yeah. it's not super big. But I did um, like stipple stitching in the back and I did it really tight. So um, it took a little while of stitching and then I, I did some custom quilting in the, the phone and the letters part. So um, it takes longer than you think. It does. Um, you know, a lot of just waiting for it to stitch um, and finish. And you can't really go anywhere. You no, you got to be there to switch it or do whatever. So it's like. What can I do for 20 minutes while that's stitching? Right. And yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And I was recording it so that I could um, like trim down the parts so that we could use it someplace else. Cause I'm like, well, I might as well. Right. Um, yeah. I'm learning to try to do uh, two things at the same time because uh, if I can kill two birds with one stone, it'll uh, make my life a little bit easier. So I couldn't even like play on my phone because my <laughs> phone was your iPad is for. Right. So. Oh, what do you call a boomerang that won't, won't come, come back? back? I don't know what. What? Do you know Hayden? I do not know. Hayden doesn't know either. What did... <laughs> <laughs> and Anne's got one. What did the ocean say to the beach? A stick. A stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What did... what did the ocean say to the beach? Hayden said nothing, it waved. How'd we, do, how'd he do? <laughs> We're almost there. Yep. A stick. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> that one's good. He got it right. Uh, yep. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> Okay. Woohoo!
All right. All right, we, Sarah, you ready? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> we are done with that. All right. Ugh. All right. And I'm going to set the machine up for stitching. And so you are going to take that out of the. You want to swap cameras real fast. I will. Uh... So basically, we're going to uh, get rid of the hoop here. So with the. Um, crosshair in here, it's of course going to um, get stuck a little bit in those places. So this is a tear away um, and we can certainly tear everything that we can tear. There is going to be a couple places that um, like right here, we're going to need to snip because the crosshair is not going to tear out. Um, it's going to just want to stay where it's at. So we will need to tear out and then snip on those crosshairs. And then get rid of the excess. And I'm going to get rid of most of it. Make sure there's nothing else that's gonna be in the way. <clears throat> so you're gonna sew with white i was gonna sew with white is that okay sure. do you want me to sew with something different no that's fine okay so um can you we have to fold the ends of the handle in by a half an inch yep. so uh if you draw one inch in from the raw edges, then we can fold up to that edge and get a nice um, even fold. I covered up the ruler. I'm like, where's the ruler? I covered them all up. <coughs> Excuse me. Just fades right into nothing when you don't have any glasses or contacts on. Do you want me to do that? Nope. I just put my glasses on. Oh, ah, okay. You know how hard it is going to be for me to sew? I actually do not have a knee lift over here. So if I'm sitting there waiting for something to happen, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> okay. The struggle is real. I didn't plan that far. I got you a foot that's, pedal. You did get me a foot. It's not, not the one I like, but it'll do. Well, it was what I could find. <laughs> Peckers can't be choosers around here someday. <laughs> Sometimes. All right. So while Lisa is drawing, I I'm like going to draw. start pressing. So just to my left, we have a pressing pad and an iron set up. So hopefully that will make sense. So what she's going to do is basically fold up to the line that I am drawing here. You can kind of see in the corner here. If I All right. Get the and then once that is done, we're going to fold that in as well. So two press lines. Mm -hmm. Oh, I missed a spot. I bet you'll be okay though. I don't know. Can you? I think I can handle it. Can you handle that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not going to even attempt it. <laughs> I'm just going to leave yeah, it alone. Yeah, a little itty-bitty corner Leave it there. alone. I think we'll just leave it at that, yeah. So, again, she is got this pressed to that line that I made one inch up from that raw edge. Slide that out and I'll do the other one. Let that set. So I'm gonna hold that up so you guys can see. Oh, 
Look at that little splotches. Can I get covered? Yes! <laughs> the little things in life that make you happy, isn't it? This towel is definitely a little bit stretchy. Um, if you are having difficulty working with it, um, if you didn't pre-wash your towel, you could certainly um, go ahead and like starch it with uh, Best Press. Just kind of drench it. That will definitely help. Help. It's got some in it. It doesn't. It didn't get drenched, but it's got some in it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and now I'm going to just fold the edges together. Uh, you can fold it any direction you want. I like to fold it towards me just so I can, you can see. see that they're staying together. Yeah. And I'm not really worried about that little end there because I'm going we to trim it trim that off. off. Yeah. Right. Um, I think it's a little easier to trim them off together because then you can make sure that your two handles are the same size. And then one side will have no stitch line and one side will have a stitch line. The side that has no stitch line will be the top. So it will look nice and pretty. It will have a stitch line in a minute. Well, it will. It just won't have a pre-done <laughs> stitch line. It will have your decorative stitch line. Not the one going right through the middle. Right. Right. Unless you want one going through the middle. Uh-uh. Not like yours. That's actually how I stitched it to the bag. I saw that. So... Can see it's beautifully pressed she's so good with an iron <laughs> such talent <laughs> not bad for someone who doesn't iron her clothes right <laughs> what's that i thought the irons were only for sewing right totally i only have an iron in my sewing room are you supposed to have one somewhere else <laughs> i used to have one downstairs in the laundry room and it never got used. So I said, screw that. And I took a second one up to my sewing room. So I have two up there now. Yeah. Actually, I have three. Four if you count the little tiny one that's about that big for like quarter inch seams. Dun, 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 okay, dun, 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 dun. so why don't you, um, you want to trim them? I can trim them. And then I will stitch. I can do that. So what we need to do is trim off. Hey, Hayden. Can you grab a seam guide for me? Um, no, the, the baby lap one from the wall. The auxiliary one. Get rid of those suckers. Thank you. And keeping those ends aligned, I'm going to line up these ends. Like she said, let's make sure that we have the same length and I am going this direction so that I'm not putting the bulky end underneath my ruler so that they stay nice and straight. And the pass off. All right. So we have the machine threaded with white polyester sewing thread. And I have my seam guide on the machine here. This is going to help me guide the, uh, the straps so that they stay nice and even because I'm going to be sewing close to the end. I have 
this guide sitting on basically the quarter inch mark on my throat plate, which is going to put it just to the inside of my the edge of my foot here. And I have moved the needle position all the way over to the right. And I have increased my stitch length to three. So, um, and now I'm just going to stitch down. Um, I'm trying to keep my hands out, but I'm basically going to be just guiding this. Let's sew a little faster. Woo! So what was that? the spool cap, I think. Oh. And I'm just gonna chain the two together here. Rinse and repeat. And I like to sew them in the opposite direction. So uh, doing that helps it so that it doesn't actually twist. twist. Sometimes you get a little twist going on, which this one is kind of doing. All right, so then you just want to double check to make sure that your stitching is actually on your pieces and that it looks okay. So we're good. All right, so now we can set these aside for just a second and um, we need to start marking our bag. All right, so we're going to come back over here. All right. Do you want to mark? Um, I don't care. I was going to go sw switch the... Oh, sure. I switched the cameras already. Oh, you did? Okay. Yep. All right. Where are you at? So um, we have sewn the handles, which... They had you do we had at the to beginning. Up front. So we're uh -huh. at this guy here. Yep. We're folding from the folded edge. Lost our... oh, there it is. Yep. All right. Sorry. Right. That's okay. Do you want me to or you wanna? You can I whatever. Doesn't it doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> I'll just stay here and sew. Okay. <laughs> so um, if you guys are following along in the instructions, we are currently on page eight, um, part four, step one. How about that for mm -hmm. lots of information? So folding um, wrong sides together. So again, um, you know that by your folds here. Um, we are going to put 
this folded edge along line A, reach around the uh, stand. stand legs here. This is really not straight. Stupid edge. <laughs> is it just me or is that like... It's fine. <laughs> As we talked about earlier, some of these edges are not um, perfectly square. So just do the best you can. Good? Mm -hmm. All right. So we are going to measure now on this edge up here. And we're going to come down four inches. So this is going to make that pocket seam basically is what we're looking at. So we are going to do four inches down. So I am going to turn that back around. <laughs> am I in? Okay. So we're going to take and align our ruler with our bottom fold <clears throat> four inches and grab our marking pen and we're going to mark in four inches. <clears throat> and make that our stitch line. Clips, or do you want me to just pass it to you? You can just pass it to me. All right, so this is going to be a stitch line. Sarah's going to stitch. You want to hit since you're there, flip the camera. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, I am going to adjust the presser foot a little bit. I'm going to go back to center needle position because I was uh, all the way on the right. So I am back in the center. And I'm just going to stitch along this line here. If you have pins in your fabric, um, make sure you take those out before you do your stitching. I have done that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So we've got that guy sewn and we're now going to open that up. And you're going to flip that so that your project is folded to the left side and you have the dark side of the towel um, going out to the right. You might want to give that a press. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Just be careful with your my leather. Leather, yes. Yep. I got Hi, Dad. Hi, Jennifer. A bunch of stuff. Carol, oh. finished the bag last week. If you haven't done the folio yet, be sure to raise your height. Yes, we did encourage people to raise their height on their machine if they were doing their folio. Florida gal has to go to work. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 and Carol says she wished she had seen our stitch out of your folio before doing mine. I'll go back and look at your videos just for reference. Well, we are doing um, a different project each Tuesday and Friday. Tuesday and Friday. So um, this Friday we are doing, what are we doing? Um, I don't know. We're doing a project. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, um, I'm totally drawing a blank. It's not the tea towels. It's not the <sighs> banner and it's not the bookmark. So what's left? Um, collage fun Friday. That's it. Yes. We're doing the pillow 
the collage on, on this Friday. So thanks, Judy. <laughs> All right, so that's pressed. You can see it looks a little bit better. And now we need to make a separate mark. Okay, so this line here is going to be kind of like where we're basing all of our measurements off of from this point forward, at least for a little bit. So once we have that, we are going to measure four inches this direction from that stitch line. So again, with that same ruler, you're going to align your four inch ruler mark and then four inches to the right. And you are going to label that line C as in cat. And that is going to be a C mark. And from there, you are going to go one inch over to the right of that one. And that is going to be D. And we're making kind of a pleat here so that we have a place to tuck in the edges of our handles. All right, and then we're going to turn this guy, and these are going to be placement lines for where to put those handles. So we're going to come in from the outside edges now and mark two and a half inches in from your outside edge, and that is going to be line E, and then from the other side in line F. We are using the clover, is this airy race? This is the um, pink airy race, yep. Yeah, the clover pink airy race. Which is why if you don't move fast enough, you lose your line. That's right. <laughs> you could definitely, um, your mom asked top stitching at the top of the pocket. You could dirt, certainly add um, a nice top stitching along that pocket to um, give it a nice finished edge. That is not in the instructions, but you, you certainly could do could that. Definitely Absolutely. Do that, and that would definitely bring a little bit of a finished, a finished edge. edge to yep. that for sure. Yeah, I did that on this one. So here is um, what that would look like. That's just a simple, or you could use a decorative stitch. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So once we have that. We are going to fold those on themselves, right? Am yes. I reading ahead? <laughs> Did I skip line? No. And then fold on that little guy right there. Let me turn that so I can actually see what I'm doing. And bump the camera while I'm at it. I'm super good at that. Have you noticed? <laughs> at least you're consistent. Well, consistency is key. It is. All right, so. Of course, it's also the definition of insanity, right? <laughs> no, the definition of insanity is repeating the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. True, but that's kind of what you said you were doing. You keep hitting it. Oh, I don't expect a different result. I just keep hitting it. I thought you just expected to not hit it. No, I'm just really good at hitting it. All right, and I'm going to press that little guy. Pass that to my sewist. Okay. Uh, inside of the line, is that correct? To line up the handles? I'm sorry? The inside of the line? Do, do, do. Outside line. I'm sorry. Bagel on the outside. Here. Um, we're, we're speaking not Sarah and Lisa today. Okay. 
Okay, the inside of the line. Yeah. Okay. My inside, your outside, whatever. That way. Okay. You wanna? So I am lining up. Yep, that's perfect. I am lining up this on the line that she drew and the handle is on the inside. So between the two lines. And we're tucking that down to the bottom. And then you're gonna sew from one side to the other. Yep. So I'm gonna tack this in place so it stays. Do, do, do. So I do not have to worry about this shifting on me. So this is gonna be inside. This is just the little button sew on step. And then I'm gonna make sure that I bring my second piece around, making sure that I'm keeping the bag piece from being twisted. And I'm gonna tack that down there in place as well. So now when I sew this piece down across the bottom, everything will stay put. The handles will stay in place without completely falling and twisting on me. So I'm going to line this back up. I am using the inside edge of the toe for my placement line, making sure that my stitch length is at 3.0. And I'm going to shift this over, not quite all the way. So that is done. And are we top stitching the handles down now? Yep. Okay. So now we're going to top stitch the handles and I'm going to just go right on top of the existing lines if I can. Making sure that I'm keeping this lined up. going to do the same thing to the other side. <coughs> Excuse me.
過ごしたのありがとうございます。So now we have that side all trimmed in place. So if you are following the instructions, it does tell you that um, you can reinforce at the top. I didn't do that on my other bag and I'm good with not doing that on okay. this. But if you um, would like, you could put um, an X um, right at the top there and reinforce if um, you would like to. Mm -hmm. So I skipped that on the other bag. Um, I used the button tack down stitch right in the middle of mine just to give it a little bit a little more. extra oomph. Mm -hmm. So, um, but that just let you know, we're not ignoring that. I just, I'm ignoring that on purpose. Okay. Um, so FYI. So um, laying the um, towel in place now, we are going to um, do a little bit more markings. So I'm going to snag that back. Okay, here you go. And um, we are going to now lay that can you flip back uh -huh. thank you ma'am so this is where we're at we need to flip this now going back the other direction so that we have we're going to work on the lighter side of the bag and again flip your embroidery to the side of the bag that we just sewed on and take oh there's this your marking pen and we're going to now mark um, to the left. So three and a half inches from that center stitch line. So again, we're going to use that same line that we had that center piece from, but we're going to be going to the left now onto that lighter section. So we're going to go three and a half from that center stitch line. So line up your ruler and go ahead and mark. And that is line G. And then you're going to go ahead and mark that two and a half mark on each side again. So line up your edge. And this is the one on this bag that just is not quite straight. So I am going to line up this line here. So up here, it's not quite straight, but I am going to fix that later in my seam. So I'm gonna line up here and make sure that the line is straight because I don't want my handles going crooked. So two and a half, and that one is going to be, uh, what sign? That one's I. <laughs> <laughs> I went left and it wanted me to go right. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And again, I want to make sure that I am straight so that my handles stay straight. So keep um, and double check that you are perpendicular to this line here. And that one is going to be H. So basically we're going to do the same um, lining up of your um, handles, the same thing that we did previously. And we're gonna use those lines to do that. Um, but the pocket is going to be covering it this time around instead of the little pleat that we made the last time. So um, in three and a half and then in two and a half each that direction. And then this time the pocket will be doing that covering up. Hit your button. And again, I am going to make sure that I am placing this piece on the inside of this line. Do you want me to draw down the lines on that? Oh, you might as well. Um, so that way it'll be done. And that's right. Then we can just do this. Do it in one step. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, I'm going to jump ahead a couple so that um, we don't have to jump back and forth. I apologize. Um, I'm going to draw these lines down this direction as well um, so that she can see where to because she's going to stitch all the way down to make that pocket. Um, so these are going to basically go in here and then there's going to be a stitch line all the way down. Do you want 
two lines? Sure. Okay. Do, do, do. Is that how that is what basically mm -hmm. they're lining up with those, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, in theory, um, that is exactly what you're doing. <laughs> So I have, again, my ruler on that center stitch line, and then I'm lining up with that top stitching line in the... Oh, son of a pumpkin. I picked up the wrong pen. Okay, well, it's gonna be really pretty and covered up. <laughs> Hopefully, I picked up the wrong pen. We're going to just do that again <laughs> in the right one. <laughs> Son of Okay. It's it's not Monday anymore, but it sure feels like it. Okay, we're going to try that one more time. <laughs> Should never have the wrong pens anywhere near me. <laughs> Son of a gun. All right. And we're going to repeat that on the other side. So she's going to know right where to stitch going to be right there forever and ever forever and, ever. and ever. All right. And then we're going to repeat that on this side. So I'm going to line that up um, on the inside of. And we're going to, again, make sure that you are perpendicular so that that lines right where you want it. And there we go. And one more. There we go. Let's just put that way over there. There you go. Okay. All right. <laughs> so we are going to be placing our handles to the inside of this and to the bottom of this line again. So I am going to place this here and I'm going to use that button sew on feature again to just tack that in place. That's going to help prevent that from actually moving up and out when I pull that other flap back down. I got your strap upside down. <laughs> it's all jacked up. Don't worry about Don't it. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> so pay attention to the way your strap is going. I actually have the strap upside down here. Um, you might not want the, uh, the third line actually showing on this like it is. So be mindful of that. I know you really can't see that on the camera, but it's there. And it didn't pull up the bottom thread. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's try that one more time. All right, so my strap isn't going anywhere here, and then I am going to pull this down. That's a gorgeous line there. <laughs> and I am going to start sewing at the bottom of this bag, and I'm going to sew all the way up, and then I'm going to come and go all the way back down. So I'm in the center. I'm going back to my straight stitch. Again, I'm making sure that I have my stitch length set to 3.0. I'm going to stitch a little bit of a tack down stitch here. And
So the other way that you can sort of tack your bag piece in position is to just turn and sew a straight line across the top. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing to this side. Now, another thing that you can do when you're top stitching like this is that you could do a triple straight stitch. So the actual stitching would be a little bit more noticeable. If you're trying to cover something up. If you're trying to cover <laughs> something up, right? Or if you just like your top stitching. So if you really look at a bunch of like bags and things like that, a lot they of have times a heavier stitch. they have a heavier stitch. And so you can achieve that by using a thicker thread, but you can also achieve that by using that um, reinforced straight stitch. Probably put a little bit of that um, um, totally awesome on it. I got totally awesome stain remover stuff at the Dollar Tree the other day. Did you? Yeah. I watched some silly little YouTube video where somebody was like, this stuff is great. I'm like, well, it's a buck, right? Dave needed to go to China Trinket Toyland, so it's right next door to it. Mm-hmm. All right, so our bag, our handles are in place. All right, they are. And uh, the next thing we have to do is just sew up the sides, right? Sew up the sides. All right. So um, this is done a little bit different than um, some of the traditional pieces. And um, so it's, I have zero ideas. So um, it's okay. It's going to be like this and it's going to be purposeful. That's the same thing that happened to that one. So. I didn't have that issue. I'm not sure. It's got to be something with that inch fold in the back. See, I, I, I don't. Because I ended up ripping it out and refolding it. Oh, because it. it's really only supposed to be a half inch, I think. So um, when you you fold the C line into a pleat but right sides together with the D. So um, I folded it up to D. I didn't. You folded D. I folded it. Yeah. So my pleat is a so yep, that's the, that's what it that's the yep. that's the so this piece right here should really have been um, half, that size. half that size. So if you are. Um, looking at your bag and wondering um, why it doesn't match, why it doesn't match, that would be the reason. And so that would be the well, seam we can that you that. need to take out. So, our seam ripper right there. Um, All over there to your right. Yes. Here you go. Good thing I didn't do a triple stitch there. Good thing I'm really good at taking seams out. Or not. <laughs> or not. We'll 
for Pete's sakes. Yeah, here's mine. Hmm. That's not how I read the directions, obviously. Hmm. All right. See, that was a purposeful mistake there too. Mm -hmm. So that if you guys do this at home, you'll know how to fix it. <laughs> so this get all that out. Come on. So, um, smush C to D. Just needs to go to there? Yes. And then your handle should have been tucked in to that little piece. So we'll just smush a hair more. Or we can redo that whole side. What do you think? I think if you did, that's fine. I think we can cover that edge. So there you go. Now you can see that it is um, that we all make mistakes in that uh, a lot of times the interpretation of the person reading it can make a big difference. So I know you can't see what she's doing, um, but she's basically just folding. She's going to just repress that pleat. And then we're going to restitch over that seam so that our top edges can be closer aligned. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Comedy errors. errors. Right? All right. So now we have this ironed again. And um, we are just going to go and stitch really close to that edge again. So that's how you know we're doing it live. <laughs> we didn't cut that out. No movie magic for us. All right. So we've got that re-stitched in place. And now... We should be really close. Closer. Yes. All right. So. You need to press it? Yeah, let's give it a good press and maybe a little tug. <laughs> yeah. It's not straight. But we can tug on a little bit. I would suggest if your towel is super duper skewed, that you just take out that top hem and redo it. Yeah. Because this one's super duper skewed. Um, or what I did with mine at home, um, if you're a knitter, you might be familiar with the term blocking, but I literally saturated my towel and um, pinned it to my ironing board 
and um, did a little bit of ironing and I let it dry that way so that I got it to be a little bit more square. <laughs> There's nothing that's gonna make these top corners fit. <laughs> without really doing something like that prior to doing this. Okay. Looks like we got some checker it's boxes. Close, close, close. All right. So it's not going the to next match. thing that we're going to do is um, a French seam. So on a French seam, we are going to sew with the wrong sides together first on the outside of the bag. So um, you can see here, this is the right side, right? And then we are going to um, trim that up and then flip the bag and close it. So you can do this one of two ways. You can sew a shorter, um, show, bleh, sew a smaller seam allowance if you don't wanna trim a bunch of your bag out or you can sew with your quarter inch and do that. So um, I am going to sew on the edge of my foot and um, I'm going to move my needle position. So I am going to take a little bit smaller than a quarter of inch, not much. And then we're going to trim up this excess. And so we are trying it's to try to match those pockets, but that it's the close. one side is one side matched fairly close. The other side is really off because the towel's not square, unfortunately. Of course, you can also use your serger and whip this up wrong sides together and not have to worry about this. But if you're looking to do something a little bit different, now is a good time to learn. So I've just sewn this and we're going to trim that up. And then we are going to, it's okay. I'm going to sew that from this side actually so I can see it. So I am matching the top edge here and I'm going to do a little stitching. Hey. All right. And then I am going to pull this down over here and match this seam as close as I can get it. All right. All right. We actually did really good. So now um, we're going to just trim it with a trim little pair edges. of scissors. Yep. Just trim close not cutting through the line. Aw, you're no fun. Right? I've done such everything else so good today. <laughs> <laughs> These scissors are not uh, what I, I have. Want. You want to try uh, these I, super I safe? I um, um <laughs> <laughs> I don't think those are going to be any better. <laughs> oh, hi, Sharon, all the way from California. I think there was another joke back here um, from someone. Let's see. Two pickles fell out of a jar on the floor. What did one say to the other? I don't know. And I think she left, so we may never know. <laughs> oh. All right. And then um, Judy said, what did the man ask for at the pizza shop? I don't know. 
if you're still watching Judy, what did he ask for? I would ask for pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not the right answer. All right. So I've got that trimmed and now we need to turn it to the wrong, wrong side. side. And poke those corners. Do you need your poker tools? Do you need Lady Gaga? Poker, poker, poker. <laughs> Poker face, poker face. All right. And I will get that pressed for you if you would like me to. Sure. We just have one more. One more seam, and we are not even at a two hour mark. Right? We're at like a minute and 40. A minute. One hour and four. Yeah, I'm really pushing it today, aren't I? <laughs> I can read the clock. <laughs> one hour and 41 minutes. Boy, it's never a dull moment around here, is it? Um, that depends on who you ask, I think. So our next seam, we need to set up for a quarter inch. And that is why you are trimming that seam down to an eighth of an inch so that when you do the final stitch here, it covers that existing stitch line. This is great for pillowcases. Um, if you don't have a serger and you want a nice finished edge on the inside, doing these French seams, is a um, that's a really good place to do that. Since I don't actually sew close, that's where I did my first French seam was on a pillowcase. How about you, Lisa? Um, I did my first one yesterday. Ah, look at that. There is not enough room to box the corners. I would not. You will have no bag. No, no, that would not work very well. On not to mention um, the, the dimensions of where the pocket and everything is. Your design would be in the bottom of the bag. If you wanted to do that, you would probably need to mock up something ahead of time so that you could, could move, move the design. where everything is. Yep. Yeah. All right. So Lisa was kind enough to, um, to give these edges a little bit of a press. And we have turned the bag so that we are inside out now. And I am going to stitch. So I have my J foot on. I have my needle in the quarter inch seam position. I am still using a 3.0 stitch length stitch because I don't think there's any need to be any smaller for this. And there we go. You can feel that you'll be inside the you seam allowance the here. I can feel the ridge. Yep. All right, there's one side. And Then we get to flip it around. And to down. Poke those back out. There we go. And we have our finished seam, no raw edges on the inside.
Dun, da, da, da. Dun, da, da, da. We're done. With 16 minutes to spare. With 16 minutes to spare, <laughs> right? All right. So here we have our tote. We finished it. We only had a minor blemish. Yeah. Um, not too bad. No. No, we have a little bit of uh, unpicking of some thread. Yeah, no biggie. And um, maybe a little cleaner eh. on the front. Or we could go back and... Uh, I could just draw on the other ones. Right. That's what I was going to say. We could go and, and make that... Just that. make them all look like that. Yeah. And then they'll match. Absolutely. So, little Maker Joe. Yes. So, um, Lisa followed the instructions for her colorways on the bag. Um, she did a cute purple one. And then um, I did so, a few different things. So this is um, one, one of, of the, the Dunrovin um, towels and um slightly different a little bit different size. color scheme um it's pretty much Similar. the same um i thought it was that things i did the same thing here oh so, so i did the same thing and then i had to tweak it when i was done because it didn't match up i thought it was because the of the towel, towel. Mm -hmm. it wasn't it was because of me because i did the exact same thing the, the first time yes. so um basically it's the exact same thing oh. um but no um ombre look mm -hmm. Um, but I did that with, uh, if you want to flip that real quick, we can show yours. And because you, of course, um, did other things. Right. <laughs> There's a big surprise. I know. I know. I got to turn it back out. So Sarah's got a variegated thread and she chose pink. Um, so she's got, um, she tacked those down with a big serpentine stitch and she chose pink, um, with a navy blue here. Um, so you can see there's a couple different choices there that you can mm -hmm. pick from and, uh, follow directions. Don't follow directions, but do follow the directions on the, uh, measurements. The little, it does make a, a difference. Pleat. Yes. Not a... Not a fold. Not a complete fold. Yeah. Yes. So um, I think that about covers it for um, this episode of the Bella Box Stitch Along. Yes. So um, <laughs> pretty straightforward there. And yeah. uh, it's a cute little bag. Unfortunately, it's mm -hmm. not big enough for our work bag. No. Very cute, though. No. We'd have to have like... 15 we could <laughs> surge a bunch of towels together right <laughs> you know hold our arms out and have 15 of them you know me 16 eight on each arm and right right maybe yeah, yeah. i'd never but, fit uh, we'd never fit our we'd, laptops in we'd there. never get our laptop in there no, but i'm not even sure my ipad would fit in there <laughs> <laughs> maybe sticking up the top anyways but, uh, yeah so uh hopefully that helped you guys um yeah and if and i can find a multi-function foot controller foot in the shop someplace that is what we'll uh, talk about uh, this afternoon. I, I don't think it comes with any machines anymore. We'll find out. So, um, But there's probably one somewhere. There's some one somewhere. Yes. Um, but yeah, we'll hopefully find that and we'll search around yes. quickly. And if not, we'll find something else to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so. it was lots of fun stitching with you all today. We'll see you guys um, this afternoon yeah. and then again on Friday. In just a few hours. So... Have a good lunch, and we'll see you in a few. And if we don't see you this afternoon, we'll see you Friday. Yeah. Bye. Bye, guys.